Sulkan and used to travel across the earth to reform it and call people towards one God. God enlightened him and made him one of those who knew the secrets of human sciences and martial arts. Bend your front knee as you strike! Your command, sir! Come on, hit me! Oh! Don't rush like a bull and keep your balance! Sorry, my lord! Butter! Okab! At your command, my lord! At your disposal! I want rigorous training for balance and endurance. Have them cross the lake over planks of logs. Isn't the test hard? He who fails, I do not want in my army. And let them crawl through the blazing fires. As your order, my lord. There is no rest before you complete the training in the best way. Whoever falls from fatigue leaves the army immediately. Merchant, I want some meat. And I only have a piece of silver. Take the meat without pay, uncle. For free, Allah bless you. I would like to pray for Zulkarnath, who has separate justice and goodness. May Allah forgive him for his shortcomings in serving people. Okab, where are you? Here, I haven't eaten since morning. This is not a time for your meal. There is an urgent meeting with Commander Zulkarnan. Urgent meeting? You ask yourselves, why is there the need for this meeting in the dead of this night? Certainly, the voice leader must have strong reasons. Prepare for travel. <sighs> Another travel. We have already traveled most of the earth, my lord. You confessed it, most but not all. I must travel to all parts of the earth to make sure that I am not failing at people's right. Why do we always feel unsatisfied, sir? Knowledge and empowerment on earth is a test for God's servants. He has tested me with strength and knowledge to see if I thank him or not. My lord! What are the signs of gratitude in your opinion? The least of it is that I spend my time serving people and seeking them in every place, spreading among them the call to God and helping them in their worldly matters. Let's go tomorrow if you like. Rather, we will travel tonight. I will accompany Commander Ukab and Commander Butter and their soldiers on this journey and leave the rest of the army here to protect our people. Where are the people? But why are they sitting like a sick? Would you have a little water for us and our horses? We're almost dying from thirst. And surely you do not see any crop. How do you live then? We are waiting for the rain to pour so that we can save water in huge containers. Why don't you take the ground and get water out of it? The water inside this barren desert? How? I will dig out water for you. You don't need to worry. You can dig here. The water, sir. I can't believe my eyes. We live above water and we never realized it. How do I thank you? I'm not the one who deserves thanks. Rather, thank the one who blessed you this goodness. Who are you talking about? About the one and only Allah who created us and endowed us with blessings. We worship him and are thankful for his blessings. O oh Allah, 
praise to you alone and thank you for everything. We don't want you to leave, gentlemen. Actually, our job is done. Can't you stay with us for a few more days? This is the decision of the leader, Zulkarnay. We want you to stay with us, dear sir. Get up, man, and do not bow to anyone but God. You have now learned to dig wells and grow desert crops. And in a few years, palm trees will grow on your lands to feed your children. So pray to God and thank Him. Where are we going now, my lord? To the west. The army of Zulkarnan is at the gates of the city. Settle yourself! War! 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 Wait people! Why are we fighting Zulkarnan? He is a good man and fair who has never plundered the land he entered. <laughs> what is our children fault in that war? You are traitors, follower of unknown. Shall we kill them, sir? Not yet. After we confront Zulkarnan and his army, we turn to the traitors. Are you sure that we can confront the army of Zulkarnan? I think. What is this? Earthquake! Earthquake! Run! It's an earthquake! The biggest calamity is the army of enemies. Oh people, I have not come as an aggressor or greedy in your land, but I have come to spread goodness and justice. <laughs> what do you think? The issue does not need an opinion. <sighs> we will give up. Oh commander, take what you want from our gold, our land and our slaves and let us live. Um, what are we going to do with these people? Hold them until we reach a decision about them. Uh, will he kill us? He will surely kill us, as we used to do to our enemies. It is the end. We will be held accountable for your sins and we shall all be tormented. What do we do now with the prisoners, sir? We will punish the wrongdoers so that they get their share in this world and be an example for others. Then God will punish them with the greatest punishment on the day of resurrection. The people were all corrupt, so should we punish them all? No, the innocent and the weak are not guilty. Hmm, but they were silent about the injustice, sir. They had no choice but to remain silent. They weren't able to resist. Shall we forgive them? Not only that, but we will compensate them for the injustice and we will treat them kindly. Praise be to Allah who empowered me on earth, gave me the means of victory and inspired me to judge with justice. حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس وجدها تغرب في عين حمئة ووجد عندها قوما قلنا يا ذا القرنين إما أن تعذب وإما أن تتخذ فيهم حسنا قال أما من ظلم فسوف نعذبه ثم يرد إلى ربه فيعذبه عذابا نكرا وأما من آمن وعمل صالحا فله جزاء الحسنى وسنقول له من أمرنا يسرا Zulkarna finished his mission and decided to leave. So he and his army set out on a long journey. Uh, sir, we are exhausted. Soldiers need rest and horses also need rest. Command them to stop. Sir, we have been walking for many days and we don't know where we are going. We are striving in the way of Allah, O Uqab, 
and we are headed towards every person on earth who needs advice or support. Why do we choose rugged places? The inhabitants of palaces and gardens do not need us. Rather, we must confront them if they are corrupt and spread tyranny in the land. As for the poor, they are what we are looking for. We ask to bring our spirit to move the Ghanem away from us. Stop, magician! Tulkanen does not harm those who make peace with him, and he only wants to help people and spread his message. We must defend our gods that were worshipped by our forefathers. <laughs> defend? His army has never been defeated. The spirit of the god will help us. <laughs> if these gods were able to fight, they would face Sulkanan alone. What do you say, a wise of the village? Spare the blood of the people of my village. I warn you of the wrath of Sulkanan. What do they do? They perform the salute dance and express their loyalty and affinity. I thank them, but I want to say something. Shut up, people. Our loyalty is to Allah alone, and Allah does not differentiate in reward between rich or poor, white or black. Your good deeds are what raise your status to God. Train the horses as I taught you. I have a question, sir. Yes, please. How do you know all these things? to hunt and tame animals, to cure people, to build houses, and cultivate the land. This is from the grace of Allah alone. Allah has given me all this for a reason and shown me the path of knowledge. Are you still determined to leave? I have done my job here. Let me suggest something to you. What? There are people in the south who need your help and assistance. I will go to them with Allah's willing. The heat is unbearable now. Tomorrow you will get used to the hot weather. Shall we stay here till tomorrow? Rather, we will camp and stay until we know the inhabitants of this land and benefit them from the grace of Allah upon us. Which residents? Sir, the place looks empty. No one can live under the scorching sun. They are there. They act so strangely. It seems they are protecting their bodies from the intense heat. And where are their dwellings? These are Bedouin people who have never seen houses before and no one taught them how to build. Then how they do sleep? This matter needs to be studied. Order the soldiers to set up their tents. They ask about tents. They are astonished by their shape and they want them to have the same. We can leave we can them leave the them tents, tents and go. go. It, it will be old soon, soon and they, they will return, return to the same problem. problem. What is the what solution, is the solution sir? sir? We teach them to build houses and huts that may protect them from the heat of the sun. And we shall teach them to dig tunnels in the grounds to walk in during the day. Your order, my lord. But we do not know their language. I will teach them. Now, I want you to make huge saws for cutting trees. On it, my lord. And you, O Ukab, command your soldiers to tie their ropes from those soft branches and to collect the resin into the hollows of the trees. Here they can store grains and fruits and pass to the other side of the forest. Is it important that they understand the purpose of these vaults? Watch your mouth before talking in front of them. Why? Zulkarnan taught us your language. <laughs> this teaches you, Obatar, 
to be careful with your words. Do you still think we wasted our time here? Forgive me, my lord. May God reward you for them and for us. Let's go upstairs and sleep in the new huts. We will never forget you, Zulkarnan. Thank you so much and please do not forget me in your prayers. I will pray for you. Who knows which of us is more righteous in the eyes of Allah? These gifts are not fit for your status, but they are the best we have got. This gold is not necessary for me. It may make the women in your tribe happy. Will you return our humble gift? I will leave the gold to you and take the wooden box which you made for me, just so I may not seem to return the gift. How can I find you if I want to visit you? I do not know. I do not settle in a land as you can see, but I would like to see you well. Peace be upon you, Abdul Karnam. ثم أتبع سببا حتى إذا بلغ مطلع الشمس وجدها تطلع على قوم لم نجعل لهم من دونها سترا كذلك وقد أحطنا بما لديه خبرا Many days passed until the army reached a strange mountainous area. There were two great mountains that looked like two huge dams that were carved by the hand of nature in the rocks. Let us stop here. Horses can't climb higher than this. So shall we camp here, Ozulgarnan? Rather, we will keep going up to the mountain. How? This is so dangerous. You are trained to climb and also fight in the most difficult conditions. I don't think there is a stronger person living in this remote region. That was what you thought. When the sun rises, we'll climb the mountain. Do you want to stay here? No sir, I do not intend to. We are always your loyal followers, my lord. Glory be to the great creator and praise be to Allah that he granted me the honor of prostration in all parts of earth from the rocks of the mountains and the sands of the desert and the beaches of the coast and the wilderness of forests commander okab and his group have returned from a tour of discovery where is he come closer man Allow me sir to apologize first your opinion was the correct one as usual do not worry have you met any of the inhabitants of those mountains but i saw a lot of them but i really couldn't talk to them why they speak a strange language and they hardly understood a word just tell me where they are don't chase them I'll talk to them in their language. Peace be upon you, O people of this land. I come to you with peace and I do not intend to fight, but I want to guide you to the best of this world and the hereafter. What does the leader say? A language we don't know. Do they understand his words? Sure, but uh, they don't seem to want to talk. These people are so strange. They did not even give me the opportunity to understand and know their problems. Look Looks like, like the stranger is a good, good sign. sign. What goodness and righteousness! Like everyone else, he wants to prey on us. If he was a cannibal like Gog and Magog, he would have tried to catch us. No, I don't think so. 
and if he appears to us that he is corrupt and that he is savage. Nothing to lose. Already Gog and Magog turned attacking us and killing a number of us each time. You are right. It's a risky try, but we have no other solution. Let us hurry to him before the people of Gog and Magog wake up from their sleep. Let's go. You stay to guard the children and the elderly. Where did the people who inhabit the plain go? Oh, Goga, I am hungry. Have fun eating mountain deer until human appears. I don't want to spoil my appetite. I want human flesh. Ah. Ah. Don't be afraid. I will not hurt you. Thank you. I hope you are not a cannibal. What is this talk? We do not eat the flesh of our brothers. Do you take us as your brothers? Certainly. Allah created us from one father, Adam. Peace be upon him. Where did you get this information? I have read the divine books that were revealed to the prophets of God, peace be upon them. And I know that a final prophet will come in the coming days to unite the believers on a single message. We have never seen a person like you in our lives. What is your good name? My name is Zul Karnayan. Nice to meet you, good man. Believe us, O oh people, Zulkarnan is a righteous man and he does not want to harm us. It is not been for his spear that hit the arm of a giant of the people of God. We would not have been alive. Perhaps he may help us against Gog and Magog if we ask him to do so. Do you think he will help us for free? Suppose he want a fee to protect us. What wage is worth a life? Let us give him the gold or let us make for him a share from our wealth. He is worth it. Do not worry. You are now under my protection. You do not know them, sir. They are savages. I've seen two giants of them. They are the people of gold. As for Magog, they are far more dangerous. How? Are they larger? Rather the smallest, but they have fangs and claws like a deadly lion. They attack like beasts at the speed of lightning. How many of these Gog and Magog are there? No one could count them. Interesting. Fighting these people means the wastage of my army in vain. And the solution? How to behave? We figured you can help us. I will, inshallah. Dear Commander, we have brought this gift for you. We promise to give you high reward every year. Please accept. Take your money and gifts. I do not get paid for my work. I work for the sake of Allah the Almighty. We have heard good things about you and that you build cities and dams and work towards development of land to make it better. For the sake of Allah the Almighty. Please, we ask you to build us a wall that will protect us from the tyranny of God and Magog. I will build the wall for you, but you must help me. We are at your service and your disposal. Order is and you will find nothing but obedience from us. I put my trust in one God. Why are we not attacking the people of the plains? They are hiding behind a strong man who leads an army. <laughs> we can beat them 
I need him too. <laughs> ah, the leader who protects the inhabitant of the plane is a frequent traveler. Huh? Tomorrow he might travel and leave them easy prey for us. <laughs> yes, I would rather find no resistance from the food I ate. Bring me the iron, put it there. Why didn't you use soldiers instead of these people? We are stronger and faster than them. They must work to protect themselves from enemies. We could have fought Gog and Magog, whatever their number were. It is never wise to fight and kill thousands of soldiers when this can be prevented without bloodshed. Iron melted, O leader. Blow now until it becomes fire. Shall we bring molten copper? Yes. Pour it in with the quantities I told you. Well, that's enough. What do we do now? This is your turn to rest. Let the second group come to work. We do not feel tired, my lord. This is necessary. Let this group go to rest. Come on, complete the work of your brothers. Is this height not enough? No, it must reach the end of the mountain. They were not able to climb such height. We are building a dam so that it may last until Allah wishes it to. Butter. Yes, my lord. Have you checked the quality of the construction? It is very hard and seems extremely slippery. This is necessary so that the people of Gog and Magog fail to climb it or dig it. You haven't had a rest in days. We must hurry, O oh Kaab, before Gog and Magog wake up and attack us. What is that? When did they build this wall? Let's all rush in and smash it. Ah! It doesn't budge! Throw them a fireball! Fire bounces back to us! Ah! Do anything! The petted people try to take the walls with their fangs and claws. Their fangs are shattered, but the wall isn't affected. Why? Continue to mix iron with molten copper for better construction. <sighs> construction is over, Commander. This is a mercy from my Allah. Tell the soldiers to prepare and leave. Where are we going this time, my lord? Of course, to our land. Do you not miss your children and your families? We almost forgot them. This is the destiny of the Mujahideen in the cause of Allah. These walls cannot be broken. I think it will stay forever. Nothing remains but Allah. Today, the wall is impregnable, but it too has its limit. And on the day the wrath of God comes, the wall will collapse and Gog and Magog will prevail in the earth. قالوا يا ذا القرنين إن يأجوج ومأجوج مفسدون في الأرض فهل نجعل لك خرجا على أن تجعل بيننا وبينهم سدا قال ما مكن 
إني فيه ربي خير فأعينوني بقوة أجعل بينكم وبينهم ردما آتوني زبر الحديد حتى إذا ساوى بين الصدفين قال انفخوا حتى إذا جعله نارا قال آتوني أفرغ عليه قطرا فما استطاعوا أن يظهروه وما استطاعوا له نقبا قال هذا رحمة من ربي فإذا جاء وعد ربي جعله دكا In one of the homes of Bani Israel, the righteous man, Umran ibn Atham, lived with his wife Hanna. His heart was full of kindness. If Allah blesses me with a child, I would get him to serve Al-Muharib and to obey Allah. May Allah be my witness. Praise to Allah for your safety, my lovely sister. I pray to Allah to bless you with good offspring, Elizabeth. Ameen, O Allah. I made an oath to Allah to make my child serve him without knowing the gender. What kind of weird thinking is that? All of us are equal to Allah. But the males are more charismatic and stronger in wars and hard times. We never know where the blessing is coming from. That girl could be all the blessing you needed in your life. I am thinking if I should name her Maryam. Maryam? What a beautiful name. Oh people! Miss Hannah just gave birth to Mariam and I nominate myself to take care of the child after her father's death. Our master Omran. Why don't I get the honor? I am the richest here and most rightful of taking care of the child. Allah's prophet Zakaria spoke out to take care of Mariam as he is her aunt's husband and the closest to her relatively. Okay, okay, let's do a fair arrow contest and the winner will take care of Mariam. Here are the arrows. Shake it well in the quiver, man. Ooh, Zakaria! Uh, did we plan to shuffle the arrows once or thrice? We didn't decide. Mm, okay, it's three times. But I don't trust the quiver. Let's go to the river, it's better. I'll shoot the wooden arrows in the water like the one that goes against the current. Its owner will be the winner. Oh, Zakaria, once again. Aha. Did we say the one that goes with or against the current? I think we said the one that goes with the current. Exactly. I heard the same. The last prophet Zakaria called them to fear Allah and not resort to these tricks. We are going to repeat the bet for the third and last time. This time we make it clear, the owner of the arrow that goes along with the current is the winner. Yes, this is in our favor. There's no escape from announcing the defeat. The winner shall take custody of Mariam. And we'll save up from the expenses. Mariam, whenever I wanted to pay you a visit, I would find you praying. All thanks to Allah. What's that weird fruit? Ah, uh, I don't know. It's winter and the snow is falling on all the rooftops. 
Yes, I heard the sound of it falling before praying. But what I am asking about is, where did this summer fruit come from? I really don't know, auntie. It's a blessing given by Allah to us. So enjoy eating it. What a delicious fruit. I have never tasted something like that before. Please leave the leftovers for Allah's Prophet Zakaria. May Allah be pleased with him. I leave some food then. Praise to Allah. I am not hungry at all. Maryam, you didn't eat anything even. Still, I feel full. My husband mentioned this fruit before and today I saw it and tasted it. You really are blessed, Maryam. Don't exaggerate. I'm just like everyone to Allah. I only ask for Allah's mercy. Please pray to Allah to bless me. What's the value of my prayer after one of Allah's Prophet Zakaria's praying for you? I know, but I'm greedy for yours as well. Oh Allah, our standing is in your hands. Inspire us to do what's good for us. Oh Allah, be generous with your Prophet Zakaria who's taking care of me and his wife who raised me and did good by me. Whenever Allah's Prophet Zakaria saw the blessings coming in Maryam's fortress due to her religious and conservative nature, so Zakaria prayed to Allah to bless him with a child and the Prophet's prayers are always answered. That's the best news I've received, auntie. I can't believe it, Maryam. How can an old woman like me give birth? It's not a lot for Allah's kindness. Just eat. You need to have lunch now. Right now, Maryam, my only wish is to be happy for you and carry your kids one day. I don't think about that at all. I took an oath to just pray to Allah, the one and only. I know, but I only wish to see your newborn child. Talk to me about your newborn child. Did you pick a name yet? Yahya. That's what Allah wants to call him. Allah chose the name? Yes, Allah revealed to Allah's Prophet Zakaria. Yahya. No one has been called with that name before. Maryam was alone in her fortress when Jibril came in a form of a human. What's that? Who are you? The kind angel comforted her by saying that he is Allah's messenger. I am delivering a message to you about a blessed boy you will have. A boy? How could I have a boy if no one touched me? The kind angel said, that's Allah's will. This boy, by Allah's permission, will be a verse to all people and mercy. The angel blew at her strongly, then took off calmly. Where's that? Who was talking to me? He didn't even tell me his name. How did he leave and the door is still closed? Maryam, what happened? You haven't visited me in a long time. Auntie, welcome. Are you okay? Praise to Allah for everything. Praise be to him in thick and thin. But your voice foretells of something dangerous. Hmm, what do you mean? Is there something you're keeping from me? I wish I could talk about it. Open your heart to me, Maryam. And have confidence in Allah. Believe me. I don't know if I should talk about it or not. Understood. You're a blessed girl. And whoever is like you with Allah shouldn't fear anything in the world. I'm sure there was something dangerous, Maryam. What's important now, auntie, is what should I do? And what can you do? This is an order from Allah's Almighty. And it's a choice with all honor and glory. And do the people around us understand those high standard meanings? And since when do you care about what people think? I never bother what people say when it is only about me. My worship and my solitude is with Allah. But now things are different. How? Me giving birth without a husband 
will raise questions about my parents' reputations. May Allah have mercy on them. And with Allah's Prophet Zakaria's reputation as well. Maryam, don't torture yourself. It's enough that Allah knows how pure you are. Allah knows that I'm not afraid for myself. I'm afraid for what's in my womb that they would try to hurt him. Did you start feeling it? Yes, it's a weird feeling mixed between tenderness and fear. What's waiting for him in the future? What makes you so sure that it's a boy? It could be a good girl like her mother. No, the kind angel told me it's a boy. Oh Allah, what should I do now? Where should I go? I wish I would have died before all that and the people forgot. And then the Virgin Maryam gave birth to her child, Jesus Christ. Peace be upon him. How beautiful, my boy. It's a weird, comforting feeling. I'm hungry as well. And a last prophet, Jesus talked after few hours his birth and said to her, Don't be afraid. Don't be upset. Glory to Allah Almighty. Does the boy speak about just after a few minutes of birth? He said to her, Look below you. You will find some water, so drink from it, mother. Alhamdulillah, who watered me? Then he said, shake the palm tree and some dates will fall down for you to eat gracefully. Allah, how delicious! Jesus, peace on him, said, I want you to be happy and not have any worries up your mind, mother. How can I not be worried, darling? Me giving birth to you will be asked about by our clan. Oh, I, I don't know what to say to them. Jesus, peace on him, said, don't say anything. How? How can I explain it to them then? Jesus, peace on him, said, if you see anyone around you, Stay quiet and say that you took an oath that you will fast for Allah and decided not to talk to anyone and leave the rest to me. My darling, you talk like a man taking care of me. Oh, praise to Allah for everything. The Lady Maryam the Virgin returned to the refuge carrying her child comforted by Allah's judgment and the company of pure child. You Karuba, isn't that the hermit Maryam? Yes. What's she carrying in her hands? I think it's a baby. Maybe it's Yaya, Zakaria and Elizabeth's son. No, no, Yaya is a grown-up now and started walking. I just saw him walking with his mother in the market. Whose baby is that? I have no idea. Mariam is always isolated from everybody. So where did that baby come from? Don't judge from appearances, Idal. Who knows? I see. We should keep it a secret and not tell anybody about it. Of course. It's a girl's reputation. We should keep it for ourselves. So you're not denying that he's your son? Why are you quiet? I told you before that she is not talking as she is fasting for Allah. Fasting? Does the sinner fast? Shut up! Don't dare say one more word in harms of Maryam. We didn't come here for a girl talk. Maryam, did you do the great sin? Your father was never a bad man or your mother. How can you explain what happened? What's that? Are you mocking us? How can we speak with a newborn baby? The newborn child Jesus, peace on him, answered them. Jesus declared, I am truly a servant of Allah. He has destined me to be given the scripture. 
and to be a prophet. He has made me a blessing wherever I go and bid me to establish prayer and give alms tax as long as I live. The baby talks. He shuts her mouth. The prophet looked at his mother and said, Allah made me to do good by my parents and not to be naughty and peace on the day I was born and the day I die and the day I am resurrected. I think it's clear that there's no reason for us staying. Excuse us, good woman. Praise to Allah Almighty. Show me the palm tree you ate from, Maryam. And leave Jesus alone? Don't be afraid. He's sleeping and Yahya will look after him. May Allah bless you with Yahya. But I can't leave him even for a moment. Allah is the protector. Of course, I know he is my responsibility. He's not just a newborn child. He's a prophet who will help people with their pain and protect them from evil. I heard him, Maryam, and I know the suffering waiting for him as Allah's prophet Zakaria has been calling out for people to join Islam for his entire life and most of them refused and hurt him. I'm so scared in this place. Only Allah knows that I'm not afraid for myself as I'm afraid for the valued child I have and pressing against my breast. Did you hear the news? What happened, Idal? The king Hedo's ordered killing of all newborn children. Huh? What's with the brutality? Their evil can't even be away from children. I think he's looking for a specific baby. Huh? What kind of baby would present a threat to the Romanian army? The kind that would be a prophet and loyal to people in the future. Oh, you mean Mariam's son, who talked after a few days of being given birth to. Is there anyone else? Should we tell the soldiers about him and get the reward? But by that, we are forbidding ourselves from redemption. We get today's reward and whatever happens tomorrow happens. Very well, but we bargain really good. You should run, Mariam. Run? Where? Who's on the door? I'm the soldier Iskians from the Romanian army. Where do we go now? There's no escape from Allah's destiny. Protect Jesus well. <sighs> Miss Mariam. Yes, soldier. You have to run now. The soldiers will be here any moment soon. Thank you. I'll do that. But... There's a ride on its way to Egypt through Sinai Desert. Try to catch up with them. Come on, Mariam. You should rush. Sinai Desert? The one Allah's Prophet Moses ran to and talked to Allah from. I'll lead you to the beginning of the way. But forgive me, I can't join you. Horses' sound is getting closer. Rush up, Mariam. There are Sinai Mountains. I have to get back now. Thank you, noble soldier. I put down some food and water. May peace be with you. Can I ask you a question? Surely, madam. Why did you want to help me? You're holding in your hands a prophet who will redeem people from worshipping false gods. I wasn't trying to help you escape. I was helping myself to be redeemed. The whole world is waiting for you to grow, my dear boy, to be all lovely and kind and be a supporter to all the weak people who were wronged 